Hey everybody, long time no see. Thought it was time for a new video. I've been working on a new project and with the next Star Wars film coming out at the end of December, well, I have a new project I'm working on. It is D-Zero. You may have seen in the trailer, there is a little robot there that looks like a megaphone on a unicycle. That's D-Zero. And that's what I've been printing and working on. I'll give you all the details about that stuff after the intro. Are you ready? Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, first of all, welcome to Where Nerdy is Cool. This is my YouTube channel where we talk all about all my favorite hobbies, 3D printing, R2 building, Batman suits, cosplay. Ah, uh, you guys know the list. It's, uh, <laughs> and as you can see, we've added another project, so the list goes on and on. So welcome. Uh, my name is Paul Buescher. Uh, I am the channel owner and the resident nerd here, and well, welcome. If this is your first time stumbling upon one of my videos, welcome. I hope you decided to become a subscriber so you can see all my other videos. Uh, click here to subscribe. For those of you that are already subscribers and are regulars, welcome back. Good to see you. Uh, and first of all, <laughs> let me kind of back up even further. If you're on the road traveling and if you're watching this during Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving and hope you have safe travels to wherever you are going. And uh, for those of you that are outside the United States and don't celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thursday. <laughs> so there we go. All right, that said, uh, just wanted to make a brief mention. The last video I did was the one on the world's largest 3D printer that I get to work on. And that video was a huge hit. I, I, I'm, I'm amazed at the feedback. I'm amazed at the amount of subscribers and likes and such. And uh, wow, so uh, if you saw that video, um, awesome. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. So that said, let's get into D0. So uh, if you're not sure what D0 is, let me uh, run the tape here. Uh, D0 made its first appearance during the panel uh, at Celebration in Chicago, which is the big Star Wars event. And that was back last summer. And uh, as you can see, he, uh, he made quite an appearance. So naturally, after all of us R2 builders, BB-8 builders, or just builders and 3D printers in, in general saw that video, we were like, someone has got to have some data on that. And I don't know where these guys find their data, but uh, Michael Badley uh, is well known in the R2 builder circle as the guy to go to for 3D printed files. Uh, thanks to him, there are 3D printed R2-D2s out there. Uh, there's all kinds of accessories, and as a result, he started putting together files for D0. So you may be wondering, okay, well, what does it cost to get these files? Uh, well, there's two things, first of all. Uh, Michael Badley has a Facebook group that's called uh, Mr. Badley Printed Droids, and uh, you can find that and request permission to join that group. And Michael uh, also offers a Patreon, and for as little as $1 a month, you can join his Patreon. And within there, he has all these amazing files for all these droids, D0 included. What's really cool about what he has set up is not only does he have the droid, but he also has a whole drive system and all the parts and pieces, and it's pretty well explained about how to do it. Now, I jumped on this train kind of late, so uh, it's pretty obvious to me that with what I have, mine will probably not be up and running. Uh, my R2-D2 needs a couple of expensive upgrades to get ready for the next month's movie. Uh, the, the SLA batteries I have in my R2-D2 are 10 years old, and the last event I did at Halloween, they died. So I need to drop a couple hundred bucks in batteries to get R2 up and happy again. But I have been giving this a go and I've been having a good time printing these things. And one thing um, that I will tell you straight out is that you definitely wanna have, if you have a, a, you know, a printer or several printers, you wanna make sure that they are very well tuned because most of the files he has do not require support. However, it does require your printer to be really spot on because I ran into a few instances where I had all kinds of crazy overhangs and I mean, once I went through and I fine tuned my retraction settings, and as a matter of fact, I, I did a couple guys like this here to fine tune them, uh, I started to have a lot better luck uh, with these prints as you can see and I'll have better close-ups here for you as well. 
So it's quite a build, there's a lot of pieces, but he makes it really easy because he tells you from the get-go exactly what you need to do, uh, how many perimeters, how many shells, you know, top and bottom, and basically, there you go. So you may be wondering, Paul, you got a gazillion printers back there, what's going on? You should have this guy all printed up in no time. Well, not quite. <laughs> the new job and some uh, other stuff have kept me pretty busy lately, so, which is good. I, I like being away from the Batcave, but uh, uh, I have the TiVo Tornado halfway upgraded. I have the uh, CR10 uh, partially upgraded. I have, the, I have all the hardware for these things. The FT6, I managed to rub the, the hot end into the bed, so I, I killed the spring steel and I, I killed the uh, coating on that one. So there's always something. So when you think you have more printers and think things will be easier, it's not always the case. And another thing, probably some of you are going to comment and say, you know, you got a naked BB-8 sitting over there. Why isn't he done? Well, the cost to get D0 up and done and completed is substantially less money than what it's going to cost to get BB-8 completed. So I know, poor BB-8, you've been hanging out in the background, half naked, waiting for me to print parts. You're going to have to wait a little longer. So that said, let me show you a couple of the close-ups of the parts that I have printed so far. And as you can see, eh, some have been a struggle, but some have come out really, really nicely. And as I mentioned, the other thing is the uh, you want to fine-tune your settings. So uh, I don't know how deep into 3D printing some of you guys are, but what I found is that uh, since I'm using different filaments on different printers, the first thing I did is I wanted to make sure that my extrusion multiplier was set up. I uh, wanted to make sure that I wasn't over or under extruding. Uh, once I had that nailed down, because uh, I'm using Simplify 3D, it's a little bit different if you have Cure, you're going to be changing your flow percent. But uh, then after that, it was a matter of fine tuning the retraction settings because uh, some of these prints have a great deal of overhang and the printers can do it, but you've got to make sure that it's dialed in really, really well. All right, so I said it was gonna be a short video, so I'm gonna stay on topic and wrap it up right over here. Uh, as always, if you wanna see what I'm up to on social media, and you ought to check me out and like me and follow me and all that stuff. Uh, on Twitter, we're Nerdy Cool. On Facebook, we're Nerdy is Cool. On Instagram, we're Nerdy is Cool. And of course, the website, we're Nerdy is Cool .com. I thank you guys for watching. I look forward to your feedback and comments in the section below. And as always, remember, this is where Nerdy is Cool. Happy Thanksgiving, guys.